tastes delicious, texture delicious, combination delicious, looks fantastic on a plate. That is very, very, very good indeed. Luciana has turned to her heritage and is creating an Italian-inspired menu. Luciana, what are your three courses? Mussels Provençal, then I'm doing loin of lamb in a lemon zest and rosemary crust with sautéed potatoes, and then I'm doing stuffed amaretti peaches with a vanilla cream. If you get these dishes right, Luciana, is it good enough to get you into the semis? I think so. It's simple dishes, but well put together. Luciana. Very well put together. Luciana, are you going to do it? <laughs> Luciana's food, we saw her cook a bowl of spaghetti. If she cooks those mussels the same way, you'll just want to scoop the whole lot. That peach is an amaretto. For me, if she does it right, that could be the star of the show. The first 15 minutes have gone already. Stephen is determined to be a semi-finalist and has designed a complex and ambitious menu. Stephen, beavering away here. Tell us about your three courses, please. I'm doing um, smoked eel pate. After that, I'm going to do some quail stuffed with chicken livers. Dessert is going to be profiteroles with lemon cream and lavender syrup. Are you completely mad? I probably am. You've got an hour left. You've got sauce beast. You've got a pear puree. You've got to make an eel pate. You have given yourself so much work to do. I just wanted to kind of push the limits and see what I could do in the time. You are bonkers. <laughs> He's going to have to have an extraordinary palate to make that work. And if he does make it work, whoa. John is trying to squeeze that into an hour and 20 minutes. I think that's bordering on lunacy. You have 15 minutes left. Peter is hoping to wow the judges with three courses that celebrate the best of British. Can you tell us what you're cooking for us? For starters is a um, pan-seared mackerel with um, remoulade, which I'm making with a little bit of horseradish. Second course is a rack of lamb, um, a sort of beetroot vegetable slash sauce. The pudding is black currant and red currant full with ginger biscuits. Your meals have less cooking processes in than the others. Nothing's getting stuffed. Nah. Nothing's getting turned into a mousse. No. Nah. Never made a mousse. Don't know how to stuff something. Right. <laughs> Peter, see that smile on your face? See that real sort of you? When are we going to see that again, Peter? Well, uh, hopefully you'll see it for the rest of the series. Peter is being intelligent this time. We said he has to bring a plate of food together. It looks like he's designed his menu to make that work. Now I've spoken to Peter and I've heard what he's doing. I'm really looking forward to it very much. You've got two minutes! Two minutes! Only one contestant can go on to become a semi-finalist. Everything rides on their final dishes, and Stephen's struggling to get his out on time. That's it. You're out of time. Luciana's first course is mussels a la Provençale. So what is that citrus flavour? Tomato, chilli? Yes. Yeah. It's quite acidic. <laughs> We are talking about extremely rich, concentrated yeah, flavours here. It's a little bit thick. As it's reducing, it's getting saltier and saltier and, and, and thicker and thicker. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, it's, and it's a bit of a shame. I know. Luciana's main course is lamb with a lemon zest crust, accompanied by a sherry sauce and sautéed potatoes. Tell me about why you would make a, a crispy crust on top of your lamb and then you would pour a sauce over the top of it. I don't know why I did that, actually. I really am disappointed that I did that. Because I like these little potatoes. They were, were they par-cooked first? Yes, they were. Well, they're not cooked enough. No. They are quite raw still. Mm. Salty and the sweets, depth of flavour of those olives. The lamb still survives. I think the biggest problem you've got here is, is, is raw potatoes. Badly. Can Luciana's dessert of baked peaches, amaretto crunch and vanilla cream turn the judges around? This is rich food, Luciana. Mm. So rich. 
Right now, I'm more rich than a rich person on Rich Day. <laughs> and should be, if done correctly... That, to me, is a beautiful Flavours of Italy on a spoon. And I absolutely love that. Thank you. And I wonder why the same dexterity to flavour and lightness of touch didn't exist in the other two. Do you think, considering your competition, your three courses are good enough to make you a semi-finalist? Possibly. Do you want to be a semi-finalist? Yeah, badly. I, I will do anything. I'll work really damn hard for this. You know, there still might be hope. I mean, I'm not giving up completely because they did love my dessert. Peter's British-inspired menu begins with pan-seared mackerel, celeriac remoulade and horseradish. Oily fish, strong fish mackerel. It's mackerel throughout that prevails, mm -hmm. and the horseradish bite is what matches it perfectly. It's flaky, it's sweet, it's sour, it's hot. It's everything it should be. Peter's starter has received high praise. Can his lamb, beetroot and mash main course also win over the judges? The lamb is absolutely lovely. Nice uh, crust on it. And then the crunch you get from very, very good vegetable leaves. That is absolutely wonderful. Lovely, well-cooked, delicious lamb. I wish that beetroot was more sour, like a mint sauce, mm -hmm. and then that would enhance the flavour of the lamb and take it up one more degree. Peter's dessert is a generous portion of black and red currant fool with ginger biscuits. That is absolutely perfect. The sharpness is offset perfectly by the sweet biscuit. And it's crunch and a little bit pliable as well. That is one delicious biscuit. Yeah. Mate, that's an absolute winner. The portion is far too big to go with that biscuit. I love the immediate taste of it, but right now I'm slightly frightened of going for another <laughs> spoonful. Okay. Peter, are they good enough to take you through to make you a semi-finalist? I think they are. Yeah. But why you? I've got the talent to be a really, really good chef. What I need is refinement, and I think at the end of the Master Chef's process, I will be an excellent, excellent chef. Peter, thoroughly enjoyed it. Chuffed to get the praise I got. Um, they seem to understand why I was doing what I was doing. Stephen just managed to finish his three dishes, but has he been too ambitious? For a starter, he's made smoked eel pate. Tastes delicious, texture is delicious, combination delicious, looks fantastic on a plate. That is very, very, very good indeed. You're only getting smoked till and a little bit of chicory. I think it needs more flavour from somewhere. I love the style of food. I was just slightly disappointed by, by the flavours that I thought I may get. Stephen's starter has received mixed reviews. Can his mane of quail parcels stuffed with chicken liver, onion soubies and spinach puree impress both judges? The quail and the liver work wonderfully together because they are rich. And then the iron of that spinach works. I'm not quite understanding the sauce until right the last minute. The liver coming together like a deep, deep pate with the flesh of that bird is Lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Stephen's main has been a hit. Now he's looking to impress with black and white profiteroles with lemon cream and lavender syrup. I think the dish is elegant. I think it's well done. It's just missing that level of flavour which takes it from being a plate of ordinary food to something extraordinary. I don't get much lavender, and the currant gets swallowed up with the, the cream that's got no flavour in at all. Are you happy about today? I'm happy that I had the bravery to try and pull this off. I'm just disappointed I didn't get to where it should have been. I want to honestly say to you right now, Stephen, I love your food. Today you have not delivered on flavour, but you have so, so much promise. You guys work so hard. But two of you will go home and we will have a semi-finalist.
It's a big thing, and for one of you, it's an extraordinary journey. We are looking for the passion and skill and someone that can take this competition all the way. Our winner, our semi-finalist, it's Stephen. Well done. Very, very well done. It's just amazing. I just feel like I've got into a rocket and it's just you know, going that way.